Retains, historians, book writers, publishers, however you want to call yourselves who are viewing this video that I am doing of the contents of a box of a game. And that game that I'm doing the contents of the box of is Books of Time from Board and Dice Games. There's the designer, solo mode, with these people. One to four players, 14 up, 45, 60 minutes. I am not going to flip it over because there is some construction inside which you will see momentarily if I have my way. So, we will open this box. Open Sesame! We have a rule book. It is an extensive rule book, but you'll see why in a moment. So, Books of Time tells you all about it. There is Living Rules Pledge. Game Components. You'll see 13 binder rings. What? Yeah, you'll see. More components. Building the lectern, hence me not flipping the box over. I done built that. Indeed I did. Here is the setup. The book assembly. Yes, you assemble books. You use the binder rings. You're going to put some nice thick punch board either side, some cards inside. And this tells you how to set up your trade book, your science book, your industry book, and the chronicle. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we have an objective assembly. You'll stack those of high boys on up. Key concepts. So the page anatomy of books. The page anatomy of the chronicle. Your player area. Set this up this way. This way. Your available pages. Turning a page. Objective tiles. Goes into a lot of detail about them. Advancing your objectives. The civilization board. Files are wild and crazy. The offer, victory points. Now we get into gameplay. And so these are all your different actions. The chronicle events. The event phase. End of game and final scoring. Not much there. So here's why it's a little lengthier. These are your pages descriptions. So this all has stuff. So science, you have Archimedes of Syracuse, Pythagoras, Ernest Everett Just, Rosalind Franklin. So you have different people in the realm of science. You have different things in the realm of industry, such as the domestication of horses, jazz music, color television, chocolate, compass, steam engine, magnifying lens. Scribble solo mode. So this is the solo. Here is the appendix to go over everything. The objective tiles. Big old credits page. And a back page. Alright, so every player can get this player aid. On here shows you all the different icons. On this side shows you the six different actions and the chronicle event. Toss that over there. Here are your player colors and pieces that will go on a track that you'll see in a moment. These little light bulbs here are for the solo. Fulfilled, unfulfilled. So these are those objective tiles. So I'm going to only show you the green ones, although these aren't player color specific. These correspond to your green book. So you look at the back of them and they have icons on them. You're going to look for the sets that have matching icons. So let's see if I can find those really quick for you. We got that one, that one, and that one. So you'll see these all have the matching sets. So when you have these on your player area, you're just going to kind of stack them like this. And you can advance, basically get rid of them, flip them over, and get the stuff on the back. Flip them, get them over. But as you're going, they're becoming harder and harder to get, but worth more points. So each person will have a green one, a red one, and a yellow one, for they have a green book, yellow book, red book. Go figure. Get those screens back in there. So we'll seal that bag up. These are science tokens you can get throughout the game of all the different symbols that are going to be on the pages. Here are those yellow objectives. The red objectives. Alright, gotta be careful with this. Ready? And... I got them! The wild files! Yes, these are the files that are wild. They can be a pen or paper. Speaking of pens, pens. Speaking of paper, paper. There's ones and fives in those. Here are for extra scoring. If you go past 50, past 100, past another 50, past another 100. Oh my god, you're doing so well! 
These are the page cards. I'll display these for you in a little bit. Here is the Chronicle. So typically will not be this fill, full in the game. You'll be dealing or shuffling them and removing some. But to give you an idea, so there's that binder ring. And you're just going to flip through the pages. And they have different actions on them that you're going to be able to do throughout the game. These icons down here is for solo play. So as you see, lots of cool art. And these here are bookmarks. This goes in the Chronicle. But these are your player colors and you use these as bookmarks for when you go to close your book. You can put the bookmark in, count your all again, and take it how you want. So speaking of those books, so here's how the red book starts. You open it up. It's got two pages. It's got the Roman numeral 1 and the Roman numeral 2. Got it? So like I said, there are four reds four greens. The green is set up the same way. You open it up. Horse, wheel. And there's the greens. Then we have the yellows with the different areas. Keep going, keep going. This here is your for your player area for when you write. This is going to be in front of you. You're going to have it in, like this. And as your cards come for you writing your book, they're going to get pushed down here and it tells you how much you have to pay to write the pages. Get this Chronicle back out here for a moment. So this is the lectern. What's going to happen is you're going to take this. You're going to pop this piece on there. And then on the player table, you're going to pop the Chronicle so everyone can see. And you can just turn the page. Oh dear. So that's the lectern. Last thing in this box. See, there's the back of the box. I showed it to you now. It's the back of the board. And these are the boards where your little discs will be moving up, where you can either uh, advance on one of your little the objectives, discard it, or you can get the stuff that's listed there. And this is a store track on the outer rim. Alright, so give me a minute. I'm going to lay these cards out so I can show you these. So we'll be right back. Alright, so here we have all of the cards. You'll see some information on them. I'll cover that when we get down here near the bottom. And I'm closer. So you got the artistry. You got the picture. You got icons in them. Sometimes that matters. Down here you have the ability that it can do. And then this is when you write the page in. You get this as an instant effect. And when you close the book, you have a chance of gaining this as an instant effect. And the backs of them all have the ability. It's usually comparable to the front one, just a little less potent. So that was all the yellow cards. We'll go through all the red cards. And if you've been paying attention to this unboxing, you know that the next one up is green. Green cards for the green binders. Alright, so again, that was the components in Books of Time. These are the plethora of cards. I was the groom, viewer, game, box, cards, later, bye.